All right, it's Chandra and I'm here with Rhett and I'm gonna work on some things with him that I've been doing recently. So I've been working on lunging him and I'll lunge him like in the morning or I'll lunge him like before I ride him. So I'm just working on getting the canter nice and relaxed. So he'll walk trot and canter and then I'll like reward him for a relaxed canter and then that'll just kind of warm him up to be ridden. So we'll just do the same thing today so he's got like a really quick canter and he wants to rush and then he gets nervous. So I'm just working on that on the lunge circle and just getting him up to be relaxed and like calm while he's lunging and then he'll transfer that over to when I start riding to the canter. So I just want it good on the lunge line first because it's not if it's not good on the lunge line, it's probably not gonna be good when you ride it. So I have a little bit more control um, when I'm riding him. So I'm gonna reward him because he was like distracted earlier so now he's relaxed so I'm gonna reward him for that if he's distracted he stopped chewing there all right so I'm gonna lunch him up here by the gate because he wants to go to the gate because the gate usually means he gets to leave and go back to his pasture and most horses are attracted to the gate so walk ask him to walk lift my whip he doesn't want to go so I tap him it's to move out of here what are you doing come on I don't want his foot to get stuck in his halter so I'm just gonna let him warm up at a walk first I'll go both ways so for him I'm just looking for more relaxation so spots is like the complete opposite like when he goes forward I'm gonna tell him that he's doing good and I'll give him a reward so this is when he relaxes and is slow and and somewhat lazy that he gets a reward so he's walking nice and relaxed um, I'm also gonna like pay attention to where he is on the circle and in the arena it's like he's relaxed now but he's by the gate I really don't want to reward him by the gate because he already wants to go there so most of the time I'm looking for good behavior on this side so like here so he's relaxed he's nice and he's away from his magnet so I'm gonna reward him it's like you can do really as much rewarding as you want um, like if he was walking around really calm, like you could cluck to him and tell him that he was good every time, but really he doesn't need that much reward. So like he'll walk nice and calm. I'll be like, okay, that's good. And then we'll go the other way. When he's nice and calm in the circle, I'll tell him that he's good. They kind of figure it out, especially if walk, if he's, um, they already know what the click means. He'll, he'll want to repeat that even though you don't need to rip repeat the he'll want to repeat the um, movement even though you don't need to repeat the click every single time it's more so in the beginning that they need it so and I want him really I'm looking for him to be relaxed the walk trot and canter both ways and then the same thing when he's under saddle so like there he's on the other side of the circle he's nice and relaxed so I'm gonna tell him that's what I want so he's gonna remember that and he's gonna try and repeat that behavior where he's relaxed and he's on that side of the circle so when I start riding him when he's on that side of the arena <laughs> okay he's gonna scratch his neck that's why I don't want to I don't want to split in there is that what you needed okay see he's got a nylon halter on so I don't want him to get it stuck in there are you good now okay all right so he'll go the other way, or the same way, I guess. Walk. So now that he's done at a walk, we'll move on to a trot. And again, I'm gonna pay attention to where I ask him to trot, which will be the, by the gate. So um, I want him to be relaxed before he knows to walk. So you wanna mix it up sometimes. So like he's more forward. like. I'm not gonna let him trot around like that like I would spots because I want him to be more on the relaxed side. So I'm gonna reward him for being walking and relaxed again. So I'll be like, this is what I want, don't anticipate. With spots is different because I want him thinking forward. I want him thinking slow. So it's all about a balance depending on your horse walk, depending on what they need. 
but you got to kind of pay attention to it. So when I have him come back, I just kind of step in front of the drive line and I tell him to walk. And I've done that in the round pen and with repetition, they'll know what it means. So he's not anticipating, so trot. Good. So that's a nice relaxed trot. So I'm gonna reward him on that side of the circle. So you might have to start out as soon as he gets into the trot, you reward, and he's got one step of being relaxed. You reward that. So like spots, he goes into the trot, I just reward it just for going into it because he doesn't want to go forward. This is he goes forward and he's relaxed. Walk. But if you're just starting like from scratch, it'd be the same thing with spots. Like as soon as he goes into that trot, you click and reward. It'd be like, this is what I want. I wanted you to trot. So he's got to be relaxed at the previous gate first. So trot. Good. This is nice. I'll let him go a lot. I just, I'm trying to, so he's kind of speeding up a little. Right there. So I'm trying to build up time of keeping that relaxation. So I'm going to let him go a little bit longer than I do spots. Because he needs to learn to go longer distances and keep being relaxed because a horse that's hyper like him will want to go and the more they go the the more uptight and the more nervous they get so i'm just kind of building on that so right now he's about at a circle and a half is where i'm rewarding i haven't really asked for more than that so i'm gonna go the other way do the same trot and i'm gonna again wait till he's relaxed at a walk okay trot good so I do the same, I say try, I do the clucks, and then I'll use my whip. So I'm gonna see if he can maintain it this way. So I, I want his head down, I want him relaxed. So he's speeding up a little, see if he'll slow down. There. So he was kinda getting like his head up and he was getting a little like tense, but then I'm just gonna wait until he kinda put his head down. And I'm gonna ignore all this head tossing thing, it's just a bug, walk. So I put him right back out after I give him the treat just because he's more advanced and I want to just put him back into work. Um, in the beginning I let him stand there and kind of chill for a little bit longer and I'll do that more at a canter because I want him to just kind of relax for a bit. But for him, like I want him to go from a trot back to a walk and still be relaxed. So this is more of a test. Like he trotted, we'll see if he can walk relaxed, which he can. So That's the same. Um, aids and everything to trot um, or to lunge. I've got my lunge line and I just kind of have the extra in the middle and I walk around it and then I'm pointed like toward his hindquarters. And if he didn't trot when I ask after I double clock, I just raise this and then I'm gonna swing it and then I'm gonna tap him on the butt. But he really doesn't usually need that. I'll trot, I wait a second and there we go. I usually don't have to use the whip because he, I like that, he's nice and stretchy. So he's ready to canter, he's nice and relaxed. So canter, good. So there he went into like a nice relaxed canter. So we're trying to build up the canter steps like we do with spots. Um, so he had like I think three good strides and then I'll reward him. And then I'm gonna build on that. Feels good, walk. Push him out. So then I'm testing him. Can he go back out and walk? Yeah, he's relaxed. He just like blew his nose. So trot. So if he couldn't do that, then I'm not gonna go back to canter. I'm gonna work on the walk till he's relaxed. Then work on the trot till he's relaxed. Now he's he's going really fast, so I'm not gonna ask him for that canter. I'm gonna wait till he's relaxed. Canter. So that was a fast canter. There. So he kind of slowed down, so then I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's what I want. So I didn't get to gain extra steps. I had to go back and reward the basic relaxation. Okay, walk. So I'm gonna ask for it one more time before we go the other way. So I don't wanna drill it, but he's gotta learn to canter nicely somehow. And this is the easiest way. So if he was like getting really nervous and trying to get into the trot or the canter, I'm gonna work on the walk and I'm just gonna click and reward the walk steps. But he can go back to the walk and be relaxed, so I'm just gonna ask him to canter again. So trot, 
very good. So it's just like a dressage test, like I'm not going to move on until I'm good at the prior thing. So if he's nice and relaxed at the trot, then I'll ask him to canter. Canter. That was good. He was kind of fast. Good. So he relaxed. <laughs> yeah, you got bugs on your face. I'm just going to ignore that. Okay, make sure my girth is not loose. But that was good. Like, he did almost a whole half circle um, where he was cantering really good. And really, like, he's only done that in the last couple days. Like, a couple days ago, he can do, like, two strides, and then he just gets really fast and falls apart, or he breaks into, like, a long trot. So, walk. So, I test it again. Can he go back from canter and just walk and relax first? So, when you have, like, a rushed, hurried canter, walk. Um, you're, or a rush trade trot, you're going to get a rush trade canter. So when he breaks down into like really fast trot, I'm just going to wait, walk. So he keeps breaking gate. So I'm going to wait till he re he's relaxed at a walk and I'm going to reward him. And he kind of went forward in that, but I think I got it before he went to trot, walk. So I'm just going to remind him to be relaxed to walk walk so he knows the voice cue so I'm saying that and then I'm gonna step in front and he knows that from being round penned if he if he still would was ignoring me I'm just kind of like do this on the lead rope until he stopped and then once he transitions down I'd cluck and reward walk so now he's kind of anticipating so I'm gonna wait until he's relaxed no. And even that, like, he looks relaxed when he's going into it, but I don't want that break of gait for him because he's anticipating. There, he's relaxed. So I just want to wait till he can make a lap while he's nice and relaxed before I ask him again to go any faster. Okay, walk. <clears throat> So, like, I'll do the desensitizing after this um, canter this way. He does need some, but he is more advanced, so he doesn't need a lot. And I want to mimic riding him as much as possible. And I'm not going to be able to stop and then desensitize him with my whip after a canter. So, I want him to come back on his own and be rewarded for it. There, this is better. Well, maybe not. So, wait. Oh, walk. He's relaxed, but he's still thinking forward. So I don't want that. Walk. Walk. I'm going to wait till he's walking relaxed. There. I'm just going to put him back into the walk and kind of ignore it. Let him stand for a minute and relax. Okay, walk. And he's a little dirty. I try to get the butt off, but it's pretty stuck on there. And it's not a huge deal because um, he's happier that way. So I just cleaned off where the saddle was. Walk. Just wait for him to be more relaxed. Let's see if he can do this whole lap and come back to this side without breaking. Good. Good. Okay, so now I'll uh, reward him and then we'll work on getting up to the cater again. walk really like a lap is my minimum he he can he needs to hold it together for that long I'm not gonna make him go laps and laps and laps walk walk but I'm not gonna put him into it until he's relaxed walk walk Okay, 
Okay, trot. So he's gonna speed up. I'm gonna wait till he relaxes a little bit. Um, he wants to canter, that's fine. I'm just gonna kind of pull on his halter till he breaks. I'm just gonna make it a smaller circle there. And he's like, oh, this is what I did to get a reward. So I'm gonna show you how I can canter. So I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of reel him in until he kind of slows down a little bit and then I'll reward him. Like right there. So he kind of, slowed down and I'm gonna tell him that's right so you could just like grab the lunge line and like like put some pressure on his face but you're just gonna scare them for the most part so if I just kind of bend him he'll make a smaller circle and be forced to kind of break down to that trot and I'm gonna wait until he relaxes and tell him yes that's what I want so then hopefully next time he'll remember this and and not go into a canner yet But previously he would just run at a canter on a lunge line and just that's what he thinks he's supposed to do so so he's nice and relaxed to walk there so reward him so i have some undoing to do So I'm going to see if he can hold it together. And then when I bend him on that small circle, that's what I'm mimicking under set a walk. Is I'll, I do that bend to a stop, so it's very similar. Walk. Walk. Bend him. Because the bend helps relax him and, and disengages the hindquarters and helps him stop. Okay, trot. There, so he's nice and relaxed at the trot. And I'm just kind of building it up until he can be relaxed enough to canter. I'm not going to push him into it because it's not going to be good canter. Okay, walk. Just want him to bend around me. See if he can hold the walk together. I thought about it, but he didn't. Okay, trot. But he's got his head down. He seems pretty relaxed. So if he can hold it together, we'll have him go faster. Okay, canner. Good. Good. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so I don't want him to lunge forever, so I'm just gonna work on that walk and then I'll ride him. Walk. So I'm gonna make sure he can go from that canter back to a nice relaxed walk. So if he can walk a lap, then he'll be done. Walk. Walk. Let's reward him for walking slow. Walk. <clears throat> like he's trying to get into a trot, but he doesn't have his head up. He's not like super high strung. He just, he's more thinking like, oh, I want, you want me to canter, so I'm gonna canter. I'm gonna do it. So, good. Okay, so he can do a nice lap, so he's good. But with him, since he's more forward, I want to make sure that he can do a nice, relaxed walk and be desensitized before I ride him. So it's like opposites with spots because he's more of a lazy horse and he's more of a forward horse. So I'm going to wait. There, he blinks his eye. So like there, like he, he blinked and then continued to chew at the same time. So like if he's like questioning something or listening or his attention somewhere else, he'll stop chewing. Because the chewing is like relaxing. Good. And if you need like a little bit more like teaching the relaxation, you can cluck once he blinks his eye and relaxes. But he's 
fairly relaxed now. Good. So like his head and neck is nice and low and he blinked his eye and he's not like looking around so he's pretty relaxed, he's still scratchy. Okay, so I'm gonna get him ready to ride him. <laughs> 